show and we have Lynn Hashino from Apuna Puna Ben Franklin with a really interesting project. Hi. Okay, so today we have um, glass tiles and we carry them in the store in different shapes and sizes. So mm -hmm. we have square, round, oval and it's something that's been pretty popular for a while. Mm -hmm. You have a glue on dip bale on the back and I did a kumihimo braid to kind of tie in with the Asian theme. Mm -hmm. So this is actually good. It, this will be really comfortable wearing around your mm -hmm. neck. That's great. Good. That's so great. you're going to show us how, to, how, to, how you did this? Um, yeah, I'm going to show you really fast something um, real simple to do. So I'm going to take the little round piece mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to use the one inch punch to cut out the paper. So what you can do is you can get like a decorate, decorated paper mm -hmm. and put it into your punch and cut it exactly where you want it to be. Oops, Oops. there we go. <laughs> and the size is just right for the glass. For We're going to have to trim it down a little bit, uh -huh. but um, it's pretty easy. I'm going to use glossy accents. I like glossy accents because um, very easy to use, mm -hmm. very little bubbles. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's so you don't shake it, right? They tell you yeah. not to shake it. Yeah. Don't shake it. Just um, I'm going to put a little amount in the center of the oh, paper. Oh, okay. So you put it on the paper. Mm -hmm. So maybe about pea size. Oh. I'm going to take my glass and go right over it. Oh. And press it down. Oh, that's going to yep, ooze it out a little bit. And this should be good to go in just a few moments. Now, what I'm going to want to do is trim down the edges of the paper. Oh. Again with the nail trimmer. I'm just going to just oh start to goodness. trim it down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is so clever. We have a little bit of edge for the glass. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take some glossy accents. And I like to use my finger, but you can always use like a Q-tip or something. Uh -huh. I put a little bit along the edges. And then I just make sure that oh, it's sealed you're just in. Sealing it. Uh huh. And then after that, we're going to actually build a little bubble of glossy accents on the back, like a little layer, oh, uh -huh. a protective layer. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take the glossy accents. Mm -hmm. Again, going to go around the perimeter. Oh, you had to do that seal part first because glossy accents will not. It doesn't spread out. Yeah, it, it just, kind of it just stays in levels, place. Right? Yeah, and it levels out. Okay. So once the edges are done, then you can fill up the inside. Now it's going to take anywhere from two hours to six hours for this to entirely dry. It depends oh, on how humid. On it the is. weather, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now because this is going to be on the back of the pendant. Uh -huh. <coughs> doesn't really matter if there's bubbles, mm -hmm. but if you do come across it, you can always pop it out. Mm, with a little pin. Yep. So we're going to leave that on the side to dry. After it's dried, it comes out like this. Mm -hmm. so nice, nice finish. Nice, smooth, glossy finish. I'm going to take one of our glue-on bales. And we have this at, I believe it's at all of our stores, should be in the bead area. Mm -hmm. This is the two-part epoxy. It comes in a syringe with the two parts separated. Mm -hmm. Let me just take off the cap. And using the um, container, the packaging, there's like a little reservoir. reservoir. <laughs> oh. And just squeeze it out, equal amount. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Also comes with this little plastic piece to mix <laughs> it. Let me get this back on. 
Okay, so I'm going to mix this up. This will activate the glue. Uh -huh. I now have a five minute working time. Now on the back of the bale, mm -hmm. there's a little itty bitty pocket to okay. help hold some of the glue in place. So I'm just going to take that plastic piece and dab on some of the glue. I'm also going to go up on the side. Oops, a little bit too much. Let me take some of that off. So I went up on the side a little bit mm -hmm. so that when I glue it on, um, I have a little bit more adhesive okay. to work with. This will help to um, keep it on the pendant mm -hmm. a lot better. So I'm just going to figure out where I want it to be placed. Press it down. And you can't really see it, but where the bale goes over the edge, that little piece of glue is also is keeping holding, it in. Holding it yep. in yeah. And this will be ready to move in five minutes. Wow. So it's pretty easy to do. It's a nice, simple project. Thank you so much for sharing this, and I hope you're having a good holiday season. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Well, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back.